to different places throughout the world. And there were many stories about St. Thomas that he had gone to very many different nations and preached and brought about conversions. For example, one of the most well-known stories about St. Thomas is that he actually went to modern-day Iran and he found the Magi, and he actually baptized them. And then they became bishops in the early church. This is one of the early church traditions, or legends, right, as modern scholars would say. There were also stories that St. Thomas went to Asia and to India. And it just so happens that when St. Francis Xavier and the other Jesuits arrived in India, they were surprised to find that there was already a community of Christians in India. This was obviously a great shock to them. The Christians didn't even know really that uh, India had this experience. And the people knew about Jesus already. They knew about Mary. They knew about the church. And they said that the person who had evangelized them was St. Thomas. Confirming these stories of St. Thomas. Again, perhaps even more interesting, this is actually something that I just, I just learned recently, very, very fascinating. Uh, but when missionaries arrived to the New World, especially to Central and South America, Peru, Chile, and other places, a similar thing happened. That when the missionaries arrived, they found that some of the natives were already expecting them and already familiar with many of the things they came to teach them. And as these people began to continue to evangelize the people, the, the people would tell them these stories about the bearded man with a stick right, who had come and preached to that nation many centuries before. And of course, the missionaries were kind of skeptical of this. But again, as time went on, and all these missionaries, they learned the different languages, they learned about the cultures that already existed there, and they actually found that in multiple histories of Peru, Mexico, right? Things written by the own native people. Indeed, they talked about this Thomas, who had come and preached them right, centuries earlier. So all these things are just very fascinating because, again, in our modern age, there's such a temptation to just dismiss everything that is miraculous and to think of things as just, you know, legendary or far-fetched. But St. Thomas is one of those many examples that actually, as time has gone on, they have found more and more evidence of these miraculous stories. St. Thomas, the new amazing things that we can celebrate in this feast today.